Okay, our first question. Radiation of uh, wavelength, okay, 3000 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meter falls on a photoelectric surface uh, for which work function is 1.6 uh, electron volt. So what is the stopping potential for emitted electron? Okay, so work function given, you are given the wavelength, okay, then the work function and uh, we are going to determine the uh, stopping potential. So we need to use the photoelectric equation, Einstein photoelectric equation, and we join with the uh, stopping potential equation. Okay. So the work function is given in electron volt, so you need to convert to joule. Okay, convert to joule. So times 1.6 times 10 to negative 19. Okay, to convert to joule. Okay, then the we need C, speed of light and Planck constant. Okay. So from the uh, discharge of one electron E. Okay, from the photoelectric equation, uh, HF equals to work function plus K max. Okay, then the uh, stopping potential equation, uh, K max equals to EVS. Eh? VS is stopping potential. So we combine these two equations. So substitute uh, EVS into K max here. We get uh, HF is HC per lambda, okay, equals to work function plus EVS. So combine these two, we get this equation. Okay, then we can uh, find the VS. Eh? So stopping potential, so rearrange this uh, equation, we get uh, HC per lambda minus work. Then the E bring to the right side, so divided both term divided by E. Eh? Okay, now we can substitute the values. Uh, H is a plane constant, C, then E, eh, the electron, charge of electron, and the lambda is 3000 times 10 to the negative 10. Okay, then the work function uh, is now already converted to uh, joule unit. Uh, then the E is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. Okay, so the answer is uh, 2.54 volt. Okay, eh? so any problem with this uh, question? Okay, eh? no problem. Eh? Okay, so next uh, we go to the second question. When radiation of certain wavelength shines on the cathode of the photoelectric cell, the photocurrent produced can be reduced to zero by applying stopping potential of 3 volt. So if the work function of the photo emitter is 3.63 electron volt, find the frequency of radiation. Okay. So this is frequency, frequency of the radiation means the incident photon. Okay. Frequency of the incident photon. Okay, so what is given, uh, you are given in this question, you are given the stopping potential, 3 volt, and uh, the work function. Okay, so we are going to uh, combine these two uh, photoelectric equation with the stopping potential equation. Okay, so the work function uh, need to co be converted to uh, joule. Yeah? So to convert to joule, uh, electron volt here, so we multiply by 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. So we get uh, the answer for work in joule. Then the C and the Planck constant and the E. Okay. So then uh, from the work function and the stopping potential, uh, from the uh, photoelectric equation and the stopping potential equation, again, eh, we combine this. Combine this. Uh, so we rearrange the equation becomes F equals to work function plus E V S per H. Okay. Combine these two and rearrange the equation become uh, to find F, eh? to find F. Okay, from this one lah, HF uh, work plus EVS. So bring H to the right side. Okay, then you uh, substitute the work function just now in joule already. And then the EVS, E, uh, electron charge and stopping potential 3 volt and H, eh? Planck constant. So you get the frequency uh, 1.6 times 10 to the 15 hertz. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, any problem with this equation, uh, this question?
no eh okay so if no uh question three eh question three uh light of wavelength 2000 angstrom so this is uh unit eh angstrom is incident on the cathode of the of a photocell so the current in the photocell is reduced to zero by stopping potential of two volt so find the threshold wavelength of the material of cathode Okay, so we are going to find the threshold, threshold wavelength, not threshold frequency, eh? threshold wavelength. Or another word is uh, maximum wavelength. Threshold frequency is the uh, minimum, eh? opposite of wavelength. They are inversely proportional with each other. Okay, so what is given in the question? Uh, we are given uh, wavelength, 2000 angstrom. So we are going to convert this to meter and then uh, stopping potential to volt and we are going to determine the uh, threshold wavelength. Okay, so the uh, 2000 angstrom is equal to the 2000 times 10 to the negative 10 meter. Okay, so the unit eh, angstrom convert to meter. So one angstrom is 10 to the negative 10 meter. Then uh, C, <coughs> Planck constant and the uh, electron charge. Okay, so uh, so wavelength means uh, work function from the work function eh? we can calculate from work function because work function is the uh, minimum energy eh, needed to uh, eject the electron from the metal surface so we use work function to get the threshold wavelength so h f naught f naught is threshold frequency so uh, substitute uh, v equals to f lambda and uh, v is c so c equals to f lambda so lambda uh, f naught is c per lambda, right? C per lambda. So if f naught, so that means the lambda is lambda naught. Okay. So we are going to determine uh, the wave uh, threshold wavelength using this equation. But we are given stopping potential. So again, this work function uh, can be calculated from the combination of uh, stopping potential equation uh, and the Einstein photoelectric uh, equation. Okay. So from uh, Einstein photoelectric equation, then the stopping potential again here, these two we combine uh, become HC per lambda equals to work function plus uh, E B S eh, stopping potential equation. So this where we can get uh, work function. Okay, so we need to calculate work function. So that's mean three step, lah. three step equation. Okay, so now we calculate work function first, rearrange the equation become a work function equals to hc per lambda minus uh, ebs so h is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 c speed of light uh, lambda with blank uh, angstrom convert to meter okay 2000 times 10 to the power of negative 10 then minus uh, e then the stopping potential to volt so we get work function 6.745 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule so don't uh, uh, round off uh, too early eh, because we need to continue the calculation. Okay, so we use uh, six points uh, four significant features here, then substitute into here. Okay, uh, to get the lambda node. Okay, then uh, substitute the uh, HC. Okay, HC, HC, and then the just now work function. So we get uh, 2,949 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meter okay, or 3,000. Okay, 3,000. Okay, any problem with uh, question three? No, eh? Okay, so last uh, question, eh? Uh, exercise four. For a certain cathode material used in the photoelectric effect experiment, a stopping potential of 3.0 volt was required for the light of wavelength 3000 nanometer. Then 2 volt for 400 nanometer and 1 volt for 600 nanometer. So determine the work function for this material and also the value of Planck constant and the maximum wavelength or a threshold wavelength or cutoff wavelength. And then for which these electrons are emitted as obtained from this data. So you must use this data. Okay. 
So then uh, you make a, a table, okay, for this one, put in, in the table for easier to observe the given uh, data. Eh? So for the um, uh, voltage, okay, potential difference, three volt, two volts, one volt, okay. For the uh, wavelength, okay, each of the volt is 300, 400 and 600. Okay, easy to see in nanometer. In nanometer here, this one is in volt, unit. Okay, so to determine all these work function, plan constant and maximum wavelength, you, know, you cannot use directly the given uh, data here. And you must use a graph. Okay, you must use graph because the question as, uh, as obtained from this data. Okay, so you must use graph. Okay, to plot the graph, uh, you need to, to, uh, to use a core work function and for the plan constant and the cutoff wavelength. So we need to plot the graph uh, of um, um, uh, what you call that, eh? uh, energy, eh? radiation uh, against or voltage, eh? energy in terms of voltage. So voltage against the frequency, eh? frequency. So this is lambda, so against frequency. So we need to uh, calculate from here uh, and convert this uh, equation to the linear equation. Okay, convert this equation to the linear uh, equation where uh, we can choose uh, the suitable graph eh, to be uh, drawn so that we get a straight line graph. Okay, from uh, HF equals to work function plus K max. Okay, and K max is uh, EVS. So we substitute into here. So we get this this equation. Okay, then uh, we rearrange this equation because a uh, voltage is given. So this will be the uh, manipulative variable. Okay, Mani manipulative variable for uh, uh, y exists, eh? y exists. Sorry, uh, okay. Uh, for y exists, we use this one as for uh, y exists. Eh? Okay, so uh, we bring the EVS, uh, remain here, EVS, work, uh, bring to the left side, become HF minus work. Okay, then uh, E uh, bring to the right side. So per E, eh, per E for both terms. Okay, then uh, compare with the Y equals to MX plus C. So VS will be the stopping potential will be the Y axis. Uh, gradient H per E, F is the frequency and then uh, work function per E. This one will be the uh, Y intercept. Uh, X, sorry, uh, yes, Y intercept. Y intercept. So from this question we plot uh, the graph uh, then uh, we can calculate all this uh, question uh, all the uh, work function eh, plan, con plan constant and uh, cut off wavelength okay so the graph will be uh, y axis vs uh, x axis is f so we plot to plot the uh, f per e so we need to calculate f first so you add uh, one column for to calculate f to calculate f uh, from uh, this value, so we use uh, V equals to F lambda, eh, where V speed of light is C. Eh? So therefore, F is C per lambda. So we calculate for each uh, uh, value, eh, each data, given on lambda 300 nanometer first. So 300 nanometer uh, convert to meter, speed of light is 3 times uh, 10 to the power of 8. So we calculate the frequency. So this is the frequency. So we uh, put here in the table. So we do the same for other two data. For 400 nanometer, we will get uh, 0 0.75 times 10 to the power of 15 hertz. For 600 nanometer, uh, use the same formula. Okay, we get a uh, frequency uh, 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of 15. Okay, eh? then we can plot the graph uh, Vs against uh, F. Okay, so we plot the graph. Uh, you use a uh, table. Eh? You use um, uh, what? You use a graph. Sorry, you use graph paper. So you use graph paper. So plot all the point here Vs and F. Eh? Uh, three with one. Uh, where the three, one. And then uh, 2, 0 0.75, 2, 0 0.75, and 1 uh, is 0 0.5. Okay? 
So the scale for x axis is uh, 25, eh? 25, 20, 20, uh, 1 unit 25, eh? 1 unit 25 times uh, 10, 0 0.25 eh? times 10 to about 15, okay, 1 unit. Okay, after plotting the graph, now we do the analysis from the graph to calculate uh, work function. Okay, first work function. Lah. Okay, work function, how we can get work function? So, work function uh, refer to the equation here. Okay, we can get from the y-intercept. Okay, C, yeah, y-intercept uh, W per E. So, from the graph, uh, the y-intercept is 1. Okay, y-intercept is one negative 1. So, negative and negative is positive. Lah. So, W per E equals to 1. Okay, uh, so means negative and negative here is positive. Okay, then you cross multiply 1 times E. So, that's mean the work function is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule. Okay, any problem with work function and uh, how to draw the graph? Okay, no problem. Eh? Okay, just like the all the 10 experiments we have done before, you must know how to convert uh, the equation given for to draw the straight line graph. Okay, we've done forward function. Next, we are going to determine the Planck constant from the graph. So, the Planck constant from the graph, uh, we refer to the uh, gradient. Eh? H per E here. H is Planck constant. So, H per E is the gradient. Okay, H per E is the gradient. So, from the gradient now, the graph, uh, we calculate the gradient. Uh, choose the the uh, bigger triangle as possible. Okay, uh, again, I repeat your, um, your experiment report. Eh? Uh, some of you use very small triangle for gradient. So, make sure for gradient, you choose as big as possible. Okay, eh? uh, the triangle. So let's say we choose here uh, four, four unit per four unit. So the four unit is uh, in volt and the uh, four unit for uh, horizontal length is uh, in frequency yeah, times 10 to the power 15. So be careful here. 10 to the power 15. So means one. One times 10 to the power 15. Uh, so we use gradient H per E uh, equals to four per one times 10 to the power 15. 15. Okay. So, vertical length is 4 and horizontal length is uh, 4 unit or so. Uh, so not, not, uh, 4 unit is 1, eh? 1 here. So, 1 times 10 to 15. So, be careful. Eh? Uh, then, uh, equals to H per E. Refer to the equation. Uh, the gradient is H per E. So, you cross multiply, you get E times uh, 4 times 10 to negative negative 15. So, 10 to 15 bring up becomes uh, negative. Eh? Uh, okay, then you get Planck constant uh, is uh, 6.4 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule per second. So, this is uh, Planck constant calculated from the data given. Okay. So, any problem with the Planck constant? No, eh? Okay, so very good. Uh, next, uh, lastly, is to get the cutoff wavelength or maximum wavelength or threshold wavelength. Eh? So, for threshold wavelength, so we from the graph we get from the x intercept. Okay, so the x intercept give you the threshold frequency is uh, 0 0.25. Don't forget the 10 to the power 15 here. So, 0 0.25 times 10 to the power 15. Okay, refer to the note uh, we uh, uh, from the PowerPoint note we, we discussed already. Uh, the from the V against F graph, we can get so, for stopping potential. Uh, stopping potential for the against F, the x intercept that x intercept uh, give us a threshold frequency. Eh? Uh, threshold frequency. So the value of threshold frequency is zero point two five times ten to about fifteen. Okay, so don't use uh, work function equals to HF node. Okay, because the question asks, uh, uh, the, the calculation must be from the data, eh? obtained from the data. So, it means from the graph, you get the threshold frequency 
first okay from the x intercept then uh, you use uh, v equals to f lambda where v is c and we arrange the equation becomes uh, wavelength equals to c per frequency okay so you substitute the frequency from the uh, x intercept 0 0.25 times 10 to the power 15 hertz then the c value speed of light 3 times 10 to the power 8 so therefore the wavelength uh, cut off wavelength is uh, 1200 nanometer okay so this is the uh, answer for cut off wavelength okay any problem so this type of question may might come out from uh, in the essay question eh?